Am I sad that Liverpool lost? Yes. Am I letting it affect me? Yes. Another two yeses there, really. And I just, oh, it's just awful, this, isn't it? Like, just football shouldn't make me feel like this at all. It's just, it's just not right that something makes you feel this bad on a weekly basis, potentially. It's probably not healthy. I don't think it's good for my mental health to feel like this every week. Well, not every week, but whenever whenever we lose like that. And that was that was frustrating. That was really frustrating. One of the most frustrating games I've ever watched as a Liverpool fan. And I just credit to Forrest. I mean, that's what that's what I want to say starting off with, because they played their hearts out and they absolutely deserve to win that game. Did Liverpool deserve to get anything from that? Maybe maybe deserve the draw like i think i looked at the xg it was sort of it was pretty similar we didn't make many chances we were ahead in xg but we didn't make many chances forest made chances as well the goal from callum hudson adoy what can i say man i mean what can i say what an absolute ridiculous absolutely ridiculous goal you know chelsea looking at that must be you know they must be kind of angry well i would be certainly if it was a if it was an academy graduate so it's just draining though. It's just really draining. And this was going to happen at some point for Arnie Slot. And, you know, we were going to lose a game. We were going to draw a game, of course. You know, we were going to going to drop points and, you know, the train's going to come off the rails out of nowhere. And it's happened today. Uh, well, not today. I'm recording this a few days after I've moved back to uni. But it, it happened a few days ago. And I'm still not over it. And I'm still not over it. And, uh, yeah, God, I just... We had a few chances. Jota, I think Luis, Luis Diaz, when he uh, when he runs in to just keep that ball in play after a pretty poor pass by Gravenberg, but you know he makes something out of that. Maybe if that goes in, that shot that hit the post, the inside of the post, it's probably a completely different game. And it was just fine margins, really. It was just fine margins. It, not a single player, Certainly not an attacking player, had a good game. Jota was really poor on the ball and off the ball really as well. Soberslai, one of his worst performances for Liverpool ever, I think, in my opinion. Salah too. Diaz was fine. I don't know why the manager subbed him off. I thought that was just the incorrect decision. I mean, of all our attackers, I thought Diaz was the last that should have come off, really. He was, you know, he was providing us some width at least. Salah, just every time he got the ball, it was so frustrating. So frustrating. Lost the ball every time. Just five yard passes that, you know, a few weeks ago would have been so easy. But, you know, this week it just it seemed incomprehensible to us to even, you know, attempt something like that. Uh, yeah, so that was frustrating. I think the only real players that can walk away from that game with their head held high is Kanate, Virgil van Dijk, McAllister and Gravenberge. They... They were really solid. Allison as well, probably. The goal, he can't see it. Canate is in front of the shot. He sees it a bit late and it's an absolutely perfect shot. It could not, you know, other than being more, you know, top bins, top right, that is a perfect shot. Almost, almost unsavable. Absolutely fantastic. In off the post. <sighs> but yeah, those four players were the only real ones that I think could have walked away from that game with their head held high. It's um, when that happens, you know, when four players have a decent game, you know, they didn't even have a good game. It was just a decent game. They were fine. You really can't expect to get a result from a game like that. And we almost in another on another day, we might have, but just not today. And we just couldn't get away with that. And I think the manager has a lot to to answer for actually because I think he messed it up I really do think he messed it up the first substitute bringing, bringing McAllister off we lost all control of the game any kind of control we had of the game was just completely gone Trent Alexander-Arnold is not a midfielder for the one millionth time after telling this to Gareth Southgate all summer he's not a midfielder he just is not it doesn't work he doesn't just because you're a good passer doesn't mean you're a midfielder uh, this is this is common, I find, and I just his touch isn't good enough, and he's not good enough in tight spaces to be a midfielder. As much as we all love Trent, he's the best right back in the world. Let's play him at right back, as Jurgen himself said. Ah, oh, but yeah, I mean, what else to say, really? What else to say? Forest credits them absolutely incredible. Like they, they knew what they were going to do. 
frustrate them until the 60th minute, bring on the pacey boys and, and, and win. And that's what they did. And that's what they did. So credit to him. But really, really frustrating. And I'd be lying if I said it didn't ruin my weekend. Uh, and it has, sadly. <laughs> and, and, you know, moving in, it's moving in back into uni by itself is already bad. But, you know, having having a pretty frustrating and annoying loss like that, where almost no player has played well, is well, it's compounding, really. It just makes it a lot worse. So all unpacked now, though. Unpacked now, though. So thank God for that. But yeah, let's let's just hope we can go to Milan and, and get a decent result. I'm I'm probably overreacting here. You know, we've won three games in a row. We were doing so well. We still are doing well. Three out of four is is not bad by any means, by any stretch for a new manager. You know, with the squad, um, with the squad that he's got as well. You know, FSG. I don't know, man. I think we should have signed a, a midfielder. I know we really wanted Zubamendi. You know, probably the everything must have lined up there. The video analysis, the data, uh, the scouts. The sporting director, everyone must have loved him for them to be that hell set on getting one man. But I'll be honest, that's not what we need right now. We could do with we could do with just a, a midfielder off the bench that, you know, could grow into a role. Like almost like a Gravenberg that we bought last season, something like that. Just someone to come in and slowly develop into the team. A bit like another Curtis Jones, maybe a tiny bit better you know, in that younger kind of age bracket that we could just kind of mold, slot and mold and see what he wants as a, a playmaking six slash eight as those two pivots that, that he often plays. But yeah, God, just what a frustrating game. Let me, let me know how you feel in the comments down below. Um, I don't know what to say. I think we're going to, we're going to struggle over these next few weeks just because of how many games there are. We are entering a really rough period, a really rough period. AC Milan will be really difficult away at the San Siro. Bournemouth, certainly no pushovers. They should have got something against Chelsea. Really, they should have. Chelsea kind of robbed them there, let's be honest. And Kunku and Kunku were just an incredible finish, as he often as he often does. Oh, but yeah, it's not looking good. Well, oh, I'm overreacting. I'm overreacting. It's it's looking fine. It's just it's just a really frustrating loss. And I didn't I didn't see it. I thought Forrest would score a goal, but it was really frustrating. And I knew the second they scored in the 71st minute, 72nd minute, I knew it was over. I kept watching, but oh God, I just knew it was over because of how well Forrest played. Forrest just defensive masterclass. They absolutely deserved it. Oh, thank you for watching though. And uh, check out check out this video that should be popping up on screen if you enjoyed that. Just kind of unedited, just me talking here. Just had to vent really, and it kind of helps me just talking to the camera, I guess. But yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Cheers, guys.